Hi everyone, my name is Manton, and I want to show the custom themes we added to micro.blog. I'm going to use this test blog I have on micro.blog to try everything out. Uh, custom themes is not something that everybody's going to need, but if you really want to go in and completely customize your site, it's a really powerful way to do that. So on micro.blog in the design tab, we have these basic themes you can choose from, and then we also have, you can edit the CSS or the footer for your account if you just want to change a couple things. And custom themes are if you really want to change everything or customize the feeds or just edit any of the HTML for a site. So we found this theme that was discovered by a micro.blog user. They were experimenting with this and I wanted to use this theme on my test site to show off how all this works. So this is the theme that someone else wrote and has all the files on GitHub. And let's get started. The first thing is I need to change my blog to use the blank theme because I really am starting from scratch. So I don't want to keep any of the templates in one of these other default designs. So first thing is I'm going to save my blog settings with the blank theme. So then I'm going to go say edit custom themes. And right now I have one uh, theme that we I use for another site and I'll just ignore that. I'll say new theme. Uh, this one's called hello friends. So I'll just type that as a name and I had already copied the GitHub URL, I'll paste this in. Normally when you're creating a custom theme, you just leave this blank and you can start from scratch with your own templates. But if you want to copy templates from the internet somewhere else, from a theme someone has created and shared, you paste in the URL there. So when I say add theme, it creates a theme. It shows that it actually cloned the theme from this repository. And so micro.blog in the background is now downloading all the templates from that theme and adding them to micro.blog. And here they are as custom templates. These are all the HTML files and whatnot for the custom theme. Um, it also at the bottom will show some of the default templates for the blank design. And even though it, it's called blank, it actually includes templates that micro.blog really needs to be functional. So things like the JSON feed, the podcast feed, just basic stuff that micro.blog needs so that your site works and is useful. And you can customize any of these, but if they don't exist, it'll default back to the ones uh, that are here. So we've already set up this theme. And then the next thing is to go back to our site, we'll click on design again, and actually set this theme for the blog. So we'll select it, hit update, save our settings. And so now micro.blog will have your blog use this theme. It'll update all the HTML and CSS and everything. Here's my blog. I'll hit reload. And here we are. So completely different. One thing you'll notice right away in this theme is there's no post showing. And that's because this theme actually needs a little bit of configuration. Most themes I don't think will need this. But in this case, it does. If you go to this theme uh, in the example site, they include some configuration. Most of this you don't need, but one thing you do need is this parameter for what the post type is. And so we're going to need to copy this into a config file for our blog so that micro.blog can tell this theme where everything is. Uh, I actually already have the JSON that is needed, so I'm going to just copy that. Go back to our blog and say edit custom themes, go to that theme, and we're just going to create a new template, config.json. Mike.blog needs it to be a JSON file, and we'll paste that in. So the parameters can be anything, uh, and the theme can then access these parameters. And again, this is specific to this theme. It needs this to be functional. So we'll hit update, and we've added it. If we go back to our blog, we can reload, and now we see we've got things. Now, on this particular theme, it wasn't made for microblogs, so it doesn't really think that you might want the actual text of a blog post on your homepage. So it just shows the date in this case, probably the title if there was one. I can click in, and I actually see it looks pretty good. Uh, also, I'll, I'll keep in mind, it's copied all the CSS, all the JavaScript. This theme actually has this little light dark mode switcher, so all that is completely functional. But we really want the text to appear on the home page too, so we can edit our theme to just provide that. 
So let's go back to the custom templates and I can filter all these. I'm going to just search for list because I know that the default template that's used on a home page is called list.html. I'll click on that. You can ignore most of this. Again, this can be as complicated or <laughs> simple as you want, but what I really want to do is add that text, you know, of the of the page to this theme. So all I'm going to do is say I want to include the content. And these are these tags that you used in the templates and you know, normally you would go in and you would edit the HTML and customize things even more, but I'm just going to say, I want to show the text. And so I'm just going to say content. I'm going to update the theme again. And if we go back to our blog and we reload, not quite there. Reload. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's all there. So it's starting to look like a real blog and it's using this theme. It's completely custom. It's completely different than anything that Microdot blog usually comes with. And I think this hopefully shows a little bit of the power of themes and what you can do. And in this particular theme, you know, it says hello friend, but this can also be customized with a parameter or you can just go into the HTML and change the header. So you have full control over it. Really hope you like this. Again, you don't need it. Don't feel like you have to use themes, but if you have some HTML or CSS experience and you want to create something custom and you want to share it with others, check this out. Thanks so much for supporting Micro.blog.